Anyway, you might be orchestrating hundreds of microservices, and they're orchestrated in containers from host to host, but you use custom metrics to measure values globally. Time on page, dollars per customer, items bought, widgets produced, trips taken, widgets produced, data from fleets of mobile devices and smart sensors. All of those things by which you measure your business performance, that you measure alongside application performance and infrastructure health. This is especially true for business metrics. Business data is valuable in aggregate, not necessarily in detail. You care about the customer, him or herself, not the host or pod that happened to be running the web service that their request was load balanced to. For other metrics, you require the deepest level of granularity at all times. And this is why I'm excited to talk about metrics without limits. And it's to this end that you have already been using distribution metrics. Distribution metrics is the first feature release of metrics without limits. A distribution will capture every single transaction made and allow you to aggregate however you want at query time. So these are high density, high velocity metrics that describe individual transactions. Uh, as transactions come in, the agent captures each value in a statistical distribution. These distributions can be aggregated server side. Until now, we have focused on the ability this gave us to provide accurate global percentiles for any tag, which I'll talk about in a moment. With the changes I'm here to present, we can take advantage, uh, uh, global percentiles are still a feature of distributions, but we can take advantage of having this data server side for other functionality and easier onboarding as well. So now that we have this entire distribution that represents all of the values from all of my hosts or all of my pods tagged to allow me to slice and dice them in any way, what can we do with it? So first, this metric will appear in the distribution metrics UI. Here you can see I can query by max, min, sum, count, and average along any tag. Unlike counts, which naturally aggregate by sum or gauges, which aggregate by last or average, because no aggregation has been applied to these metrics, you have the option to control tagging. For this service level metric, if you don't care which hosts send the metric, you can restrict the behavior uh, and drop that tag so that you can query just the tags that describe your user's behavior. What web service served the request? Or what availability zone their queries were routed to? You can control all of this in the Datadog app without touching your code. As with logging of that limits, this decouples the ingestion of metrics from storage and query. Here, you can see that I've aggregated out host. Now, because I'm aggregating along less granular tags, I will pay for fewer time series. But what happens when my metric behavior crosses an unacceptable threshold, or I want to do detailed research on user behavior? In my case, it would be unacceptable for latency to go above 300 milliseconds on sub subset on my shards. Because tagging is configured in app, if I need to dig in, you can re-enable the tags that you're dropping. This would allow you to see which customers are making requests to the finest level of granularity, like Kubernetes pods or infrastructure host. When the incident has been resolved, you can go ahead and start aggregating those tags out again. The most significant feature of distributions is the ability to calculate global percentiles for any tag combination. This borrows from technology we built for the APM product where latency percentiles are calculated for things like service or resource, but solves the issue for the generic case and gives you total freedom about what you measure and by what you measure it. Unlike other distribution, histogram, or timer implementations, there's no need to set boundaries on the expected data set. There's no infinite value, which we know to be impossible in most cases. Our implementation of distributions allows you to send any data, aggregate, aggregate accurately on the fly, no matter what. Here, I'll take my sample distribution and calculate percentiles for the median, the P75, the P90, the P95, and the P99. Here again, I can provide you with control over the way you segment your metric. I'm going to aggregate this over data center and site.
percentiles help me tell the whole story. I'm going to create a new notebook to query out the new aggregations that I've just created. With an arithmetic average, outliers have a significantly outsized effect on the aggregation. Remember, this is distributed infrastructure. So these web requests are coming from many hosts. And if I simply did an average, I wouldn't get the, the whole story. Here, I'm going to take the median, the P75, and the P90. And I'll just scan over an area. And here I can see uh, time series that describe the distribution of values that came in. Distribution metrics provide measurements for high-resolution res data sets and provide precision and control in describing that data. You can opt into distribution metrics today, which also brings me to my next uh, part. I'm also excited to announce that we are starting to provide a technical preview for metrics without limits for gauges and counts as well. This fills out the metrics without limits a suite uh, and encompasses all of the metrics in Datadog. Here, this is an extension of the work we did developing distributions, and this means you have control over aggregation for any metric type in the app. With these features, you can send us all your data and pay what is, for what is valuable to you. Limits are not the physical capacity to store and query, but the freedom to use Datadog for everything that is valuable within the observability budget that you have established. In order to provide this freedom, we also provide flexibility. As you have seen, aggregation for metrics without limits is done in app. No agent or code changes are necessary. You send us all of the, data, all of the points that you already have and dynamically decide whether to drop or persist time series on the fly. This has effectively decoupled the instrumentation of metrics from the persistence. We'll ingest the metrics at 10 cents per 100, which makes it very efficient to send us anything. And then you can persist and query whatever is uh, useful to you. At this point, it still includes our 15 months at full one second granularity for the entire period that the metric is reporting. What I've shown you here with metrics without limits is how Datadog can provide further value and control for your dev and ops teams without sacrificing accuracy or the ability to drill down into the finest details. Metrics without limits is in technical preview now, and I'll be around. I've met many of you already. Uh, so reach out to me or your account manager for more details and how to sign up. Thank you.